what's your theory on that? That what? Why was she on Joan her? Rivers? Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and if you look at how she died, like literally in her daughter's lawsuit, is like it is not. It defies belief how much malpractice was required to kill her. And I was like, yes, because they killed her on purpose. Mr. Michael, how are you, Senor? Good, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm. I'm still. I'm still kind of get. I'm trying to get back off the grid. I'm not gonna lie to you. This yeah. is this is inconvenient for me now, Mike. I gotta come back. <laughs> I gotta talk to people. I like I enjoy talking to you, but I gotta talk to the world. Yep. But once in a while, the uh, it's stimulating enough. Without this, I I can literally live in the woods. So I must apologize now before we even introduce our guest, and I must apologize to the viewers and you. I may be interrupted any minute. Why? Because mm -hmm. besides podcasting, besides doing uh, stand-up comedy, which is my first and foremost, which, by the way, we have surpassed one million views for somebody had to say it. One million views, less than a month, no publicist, no nothing just dump that special on youtube and let's see what happens we're a million and start and still moving so i want to thank all the million people that viewed my comedy special somebody had to say it and continue to watch the special somebody had to say it you have no clue i i I kind of like living in like whatever land because I, I got it. It it's, you know, I had the guy that the, the kid who helped me out, you know, Evan and yep. he helps with the Patreon and he's the one that's like, Hey man, why don't we put this special on? Like, oh, you think it's going to do good? He's like, yeah, I think it might do good. And then we put it out and he's like, you know, it's got X amount of views. I'm like, oh, how many views? <laughs> I think we're going to make a million videos. So he, he 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 called uh, the other morning. He's like, Jim, we're 6,000 away from the million. I went, is that good? He's like, Jim, are you kidding me? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just tried. But at the end of the day, I'm just a family guy. And because I'm, m my wife is, is in New Jersey. Uh, my daughter is coming back today. But, you know, it's amazing. When you're a family guy, you're like, oh, well, I had a couple days to myself and I thought, oh, my God, this is going to be this is going to be amazing that I just I can make my own schedule. I can eat where I want to eat. I, I, I don't have to worry about fat Jimmy coming out and getting criticized. <laughs> fat Jimmy can have I, last night. Fat Jimmy went and got ice cream. Ooh. Sneaking at at like two minutes before the place closed, as if no one was watching Fat Jimmy. But I can announce Fat Jimmy came out last night hard. Um, <laughs> but my wife just gave me this whole. Hey, listen, don't forget the furniture guy is coming on on two uh, on on this day, and then Thursday, and then Wednesday, and then this guy's going. So today, I have. Furniture people that text me and said, uh, we should be there between 15 minutes and three hours. What? How do you 15 minutes and three hours? Like we and then I have inspectors coming, which by the way, you can't even make this up. So I put air conditioning in my garage because I live in Florida and the garage is like 190 degrees. So they come up and they put air conditioning and then they got to put insulating insulation in there. The insulation inspectors came as God is my witness. The guy comes to the house and he goes, yeah, I'm, here to check out. I'm one of three inspectors. I said, okay. He goes, I got an inspector. And he opens my garage door and he looks and he goes, did you see them put the insulation in? I went, well, I, I, I saw them in the garage. I didn't physically see. Yeah. 
He goes, but they were here, right? Well, yeah. He goes, yeah, they put the inspection. I'm like, good. So that's it. We're done. You you don't even you just you just go. Did they do it? And I say yes, and we're done. That's it. Shut up. Inspected. I don't know what's coming next, but there's supposed to be another inspector. So um, I just been running. I had to tear apart my daughter's bedroom. Mm. And my wife's like, listen, you tell me if you find anything in that kid's room. I mean, what are you talking about? She's like, you know what I mean. So I got to call my kid. I'm like, listen, I don't want to be a bad detective. You got anything in that room I should worry about? She's like, uh, I don't think so. I don't just don't look for anything. I'm like, I'm not looking for anything. I'm just not gonna be able to lie to your mother if I see something. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm in the middle of house stuff. So if the doorbell rings and it for the most likely, if I had a bet an over and under, which makes no sense if a doorbell rings, uh, I'm gonna say the doorbell might ring within this podcast. So my apologies if I got to run, go tell a guy, which which is kind of funny. We'll watch him walk. That's my, you, I don't know what you say. We'll watch him go in a garage. He'll do whatever he's got to do. And then he'll just put a piece of paper like, yeah, we're good. We're, we're good to go. And that's the shabiggle. All right. So today, I have no clue what I'm walking into. Um, I had a brief, brief conversation with her. A couple weeks ago, so I apologize for taking so long. One of our listeners, I believe on Patreon, was like, you really should talk to Monica Perez. I think you should. I'm a big fan of her, and I I respect a lot of my, I shouldn't say a lot of my, I respect what, what listeners have to say. So there you go. Today we have Miss Monica Perez. So. I'm already apologizing. I don't know if you heard the beginning of this rant, but um, I I may have someone knocking on the door, and I just pray to God you're not in the middle of this incredible uh, moment where you got to get this thing out. I'll and finish without the... you. Yeah, I please can do. I'm a professional. You don't, you don't take any offense to it, right? <laughs> no. Good, I'm a family that's... gal. You're a family guy. I'm a family gal. Yes, yeah, so you get it. Totally. You get it 100%. Yeah, so, there could be screaming in the background at any time. Correct. And we don't know. But that's the world we live in. And that's and we're okay with that. While we try to do the headphones and the thing. I'm still in a closet, Monica. I keep... Yeah. Let me... I, I just bought a kit to take on the road. I'm, yeah, good. I, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But you have to so, leave the doors open so you don't suffocate, right? Is that the story? Well, you can just close the doors and not tell people you're in a closet, but you will suffocate. Yes, that is true. And it gets really hot in here. And the other thing is, the only reason I try to keep these doors shut is because my wife is self-conscious for me going like this. Because she's convinced people are zooming in <laughs> and staring at the pillows that she's not sure that she wants for this bed yet. Or staring at whatever s and try to figure out where we live i'm like who? Or it's like the boom boom room maybe you're maybe the, it's promises something oh maybe I'm we're never... like what's what's next what happens in patreon after all oh now we're going in different directions interesting <laughs> <laughs> open now. i'm back in the closet oh wait a minute wait a minute oh no there is a truck that just pulled up. Hold on, Monica. I'm bringing you with me. And then I think, and again, I apologize, but I swear to God, I think this is going to be it. How amazing would that be? We just knock it out in the first three minutes. There's That's a great. truck right there. All right, let's see. It's got to be the guy. Wow, you're mobile. That's pretty good. Yeah, but I'm usually, it's usually not that mobile. Um, Usually I'm afraid to leave the room with the Wi-Fi because we don't have killer Wi-Fi. Yeah, wi definitely. Yeah, risky. And it starts going spotty. So let's just see if this is the guy. Collier County. Oh, see, now you're telling people where you live. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that is very true. <laughs> well, I don't see <laughs> Well, everyone knows I live in Naples, Florida. At least All the right. newer people, but... 
That's all right. I got complete lockdowns and all that stuff here. I I don't think that's the guy, so I apologize. All right, no problem. Let's get rocking and rolling. I can roll. I can roll with it. So, Monica, from what I understand, <laughs> you have many theories in the world. And we talked a little bit about some, but you're tell yeah. how, first of all, how do you start? Like who who are you? Who People don't you? know who you are. <laughs> who are you? Are you are you a mom? Are you a reporter? You're yeah. whatever. Dumb as a rock here, no disrespect. Yeah. All I know is I've had people say you should smart really talk. for a chick. Like all you know is smart for a chick. <laughs> I don't even know that to be dead honest. With you. Oh, well, that's I don't know definitely. I don't know if you're a chick. I don't know right now. Hundred percent born and still am a chick. So okay. yeah, mom. I was an investment banker, and I like just used to think about stuff. Hardcore libertarian. And I like came to this revelation that government's a complete scam and society self-ordering. I used to be a waitress and people always left me tips. There was no law. You know, even if I, they only did it so I wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't be embarrassed in front of their friends. Like government's not necessary, society self-ordering. And I told some gal, she was a radio producer and she just thought it was so cool. And she got her boss to listen to me. And then just out of nowhere, really, I was on the radio every Saturday for like eight and a half years until, because I was just thought differently until COVID. And then I was like, and I don't want to get you taken down. So I will really be no. careful about words. But yeah. So then I said stuff about that. So I had like, well, I would talk about the Boston Marathon bombing was a setup. I would talk about a lot, a lot of things. But when I started talking about event 201, I don't know if you're familiar with that. Well, I got taken down. After eight and a half years. And they didn't tell me that was why. And then, but I don't go as far as like lizards and stuff. Like, and even the Trump thing, I don't think that there is a counter conspiracy. Like, I don't think Trump is Batman, but, uh, you know, and I don't, I'm not, I don't have my mind around lizards, but I definitely think like, I'm, I don't, it stops for me where like, <laughs> is Putin in on it? Or is he like really fighting? But, like, that's where I just, uh, I don't I know. I am serious where I, I, I went away to Alaska and I got to say <clears throat> it might have been one of the greatest trips I've had in a long time because there was absolutely no cell service where I was at and there was absolutely no Wi-Fi. So not checking social media, not seeing, hey, uh, the latest thing is X, Y, Z not seeing a million people having a thing. I love when people say my, my sources. If it, it, I immediately dis you're out. The minute you say my sources, I know you're lying. You're fibbing. You're out. You're just trying to gain followers. You're so full of nitrogenous waste. <laughs> I fell for that nonsense during COVID and, he, and you see certain people and, and everyone will be like, He's like, my sources told me that what's really going down. Now, we got to be careful what we say here. And I'm like, you and a couple of my friends would be all on that. Blah, blah, blah. Now you got to get on this wagon. It's going this way. It's going for the truth of life. I'm like, okay. And I'd be on there for five minutes going, Dude, it's just a yo-yo that, that it's just a guy that just discovered how to tap in to milk everyone from the, it's just like, it's like rooting for a team that you'd even know the sport existed. And then all of a sudden everyone's like, you gotta root, you gotta root for the truthers. Ah! Yeah, they created, anyone... they created yes. in, in, in its own, it's like made from whole cloth. It's like January 6th. I hate to say, which is like a hot thing to say, but like that, they completely created that. Like absolutely nothing happened. They completely created and to get lost in there is a complete waste of time. But I did think of you that you have what I call truth jar. Like you can yeah. tell the truth from not the truth. Like a lot of people will just like go down and some people do it to get the followers. Like they know I didn't, I never fell for Trump. So I never right. got that like 35,000 instant followers from like Q said, because Q was military intel. You can't have a coup against a sitting president and replace him with the sitting president. 
You know, <laughs> I just... I, even that, the whole stupidity of anyone, like, do you see what happened on January? Like, you ever watch any other country? A real coup is when they burn the whole place down, they're tearing out the people, and they're staying there until they say, guess what? Things are different. So this whole thing trying to go, January 6th, January 6th. Oh my God. That's why they doxed people for having videos up because they don't want you to see all the videos. The videos show just people walking around with fanny packs. It was like, literally looked just like when I was at jazz fest in New Orleans, like 60 some (laughs) things with fanny packs. (laughs) Right. And, and they, if you had, so they're like, if you post a video, we're going to arrest all your friends. Even if they weren't doing anything, they did that. So everyone would take their videos down. I did friends sent me videos and I was going to put them up. I was like, I'm not doing that. Because you're all going to get like visited from the FBI. I know three people got visited from the FBI for nothing. Why? Yes. Oh, yeah. Just for, yes, just for being there. So that's why you have to take the videos down and you can't see. So if you saw all the videos there were, you wouldn't see any violence. Like I had a a friend there who said she saw like some people climbing up a scaffolding near Alex Jones. And she was like, I don't know why they were doing that because the doors were open to the Capitol and she was there for like a right to life thing. And she just went in. She's like, I brought Jesus. And she had her like <laughs> Jesus thing. And she's like, the doors were open. And then some guy came out and he said, he said, oh, some lady got shot. I said, I thought he was lying. I thought he was just lying anyway. And I asked him and he said, I'm a Marine. I'm not lying. I said, Seth, then maybe you're even lying more. Mm. So it wasn't plausible to people who were there. And yes. she sent me videos and I wouldn't put them up because I don't want to get her in trouble, but there was completely nothing going on yet. They're still talking about it on the news every night. And it's, you know, they're editing it and stuff. It's not live at eight o'clock at night. Correct. And so are you, you, okay. So as I'm talking to you, I feel like, uh, you're, you're a skeptic of everything. Yes. I am too. I am. It's bad. Everything. I feel like it's Everything. I'm not a skeptic of, of like turning the, you know, going to Alaska and turning it all off. I don't think the world will end. I think that's the actual answer is just enjoy. Hopefully there's a God. I think there, I, I, I feel there is. And when I say, when I say that, I don't think when we pass, you know, we're all together and in this form. And I just, it's almost like an energy, a light, a beautiful light energy. Does our conscious continue? That's I don't know. One. I like to think I, who the heck knows at the end of the day, nobody knows. Yes. There's books written and blah, 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 blah. But, um, I, I, I'm also a little, believe in we'll say the word the force meaning i i i often will go think here and then zoop, it comes I'm like whoa that was weird um or y- yeah i don't want to get so too maybe deep it's into- the force versus the farce maybe that's what I like we're that. doing yes now do I believe in people can sit there and go, all right, your father's talking to me right now, and your father's yeah. saying it's not your fault and you should live on and you should totally he said, get a puppy. <laughs> and like, oh my God. Um so that it's it. But I do, I am I, I am at the stage where I'm like, I'm I don't know or believe anything anymore. I, and I'm at the point of like, throw it on the table, whatever you want to talk about. Let's talk about it. To me, it's all goofy until something happens. Well, the problem is that we believe in it. Like if you, if you engage on the screens and you believe in the way they're framing it, that really accelerates it. Whereas if everybody just turned off their screens, I mean, people have said this before, like it would have been impossible for them to have that whole lockdown thing. Like it wouldn't have, nobody would have been scared. Because, I, I, exa- yeah. I thought about that too. If it, I just I thought about that was in Alaska, Lily. So if nobody has a screen, there's no such thing as television. You would have never, ever been able to pull up to someone or someone walk up to you and go, put on a mask. And you go, Excuse me? <laughs> I'm on the beach. No, you you're <laughs> You can't go in the water 
<laughs> and be on a surfboard 30 yards away from civilization because your breath could travel and murder millions of people. So you need to go in your house and like there's yeah, there are trillions of invisible monsters everywhere trying to kill us all. That was what they were saying. There are trillions of invisible monsters everywhere trying to kill us all. And then I was thinking at the time, I was like, the reaction, I thought if you woke up from a coma and you saw what was happening, you would think it was a financial crisis. You wouldn't have thought it was a health crisis. You would have thought like there was some problem with the government that they were trying to reset that. And that's Correct. really what I think it was. Correct. Now, well, that's the thing with the, with the, the agenda, blah, blah, blah. And, and these are not names that are made up. These are actual things on YouTube. And you could watch where they did the whole pre-pandemic. They did a whole scenario where how they one. would lock things down. And a blah, few. Blah, blah. They did a few. Uh, they did a few, a couple before oh. it came out. So you're like. Did you see the 2017 SPARS document? Um off of Johns Hopkins, it's like a script. It was how yes. like media, one of them was, what if a place like Oregon, not Texas, uh, has some ice storm and completely shuts down when we're trying to roll out vaccines? How do we communicate with them when their screens are off? I mean, it was, and it was like scripted. It was like, what if the president liked a certain drug? Would the other party hate that drug? Like it was, it's, it was like 25 of those. It was the most, and still continues to be so bizarre and then what what drives me crazy is now you have the major players coming out and go you know what we might have went we might have oversold it and <laughs> whoops um sorry i mean you know i mean, listen people lose jobs over lies People die over lies. People lose their business over lies. Get over it. Get over it. Just make sure you rock the boat. Because <laughs> they don't think of us as human beings, I think. No, you're not. And, the, and that, this is what... This is what I try to tell people, Monica. It's you don't believe in the boogeyman. So you're, t so you're telling me you can, you don't believe pure, demonic, soulless, disgusting human beings are in what they call a government. You don't believe they exist in the media to lie to you, to control you. You don't believe that whatsoever. But, and you don't think humans are capable of that. Have you met, have you read a Motley Crue book? Have you read how a female was, females were taken by the band and they were, they'd rent out a hotel room with a chandelier, the woman would strip down voluntarily, <laughs> get tied to a chandelier. They would shake. And then Tommy Lee told me this personally when, we, when he came on SNL. He, he, they shook bottles of champagne, popped the cork, stuck it in her colon, then spun, then popped it out, spun her around, and laughed hysterically as they were splurted with mud. Oh and and they this was beyond hilarious. And and at the end of the day, you don't believe humans are capable of the thing, if you so Sunday Live, the videos that certain cast member would show me to this day, I'm traumatized. <laughs> you don't, but a man took a horse. Joe Rogan showed me years ago when I had a radio show. He showed how a man went to a barn in the middle of the night with his friend, 
to take on a horse which ripped his ripped him in half. And but you don't think humans <laughs> are <really> capable <laughs> of being demonic and sick and twisted. B b uh, okay, okay. You what about all just regular movies? What about regular movies that have conspiracies or mobs? It's like you watch that, you completely believe the plot of that movie. Where did that come from? If it's not a human archetype that that's real. Where does it come from? It doesn't really happen in real life. It only happens in someone's imagination. You know what made me laugh hard? Did you see the movie Avengers? Um, not, not, not Iron Man. No, not Iron Man. Uh, I've seen Iron Man. Yeah, is it Iron Man? It's Iron Man. Who's in the Avengers? Who's the uh, Ron Dye Jr.? Like a bunch of them are in the Avengers. But what is he? He's Iron Man, right? Yeah, he's Iron Man. I, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you. He's Iron Man. So in one of the Iron Mans, they're, they can't find this guy. The guy, he makes videos. He's a boogeyman. Very Bin Laden-ish. And eventually they find out it's just a guy, a billionaire living on a cliff that no one knows. And he doesn't look anything like the guy. And he just, he makes the videos. He's laughing his ass off to control the world. And I sat there and went, are people really, like, this is, they're laughing at us. This is this is how they make every boogeyman up. This is oh, this is Bin Laden. This is the Bin oh. Laden in the cave. No this internet. Guy today. This what? guy today. It was like Bin Laden's partner. They were like, oh, we went and bombed the crap out of this guy. So the first thing I did was like, he's already dead. He's been and dead I think for he years. was already dead. He died he's like dead. a year ago. He's he died dead a year ago. ago. All right. So this is my <laughs> question, Monica. Clearly, everyone knows he's dead over a year. Yeah. Why are they trying to sell this? I think they just like that those opportunities to look like a big wig. They can't, they on the one hand they can't have them just die of natural causes because that makes whatever look wimpy. And then it's just they never let a good crisis or whatever go to waste. They just want to flex their muscles. They like to kill people. It makes people happy. Now that's not enough. Maybe maybe but, we're but, moving but, back towards that region for a war. Maybe Ukraine is winding down. They always have but, to have their war. But if you're if you're why do you say he's been dead over a year? Well, I just thought to myself, there's like four possibilities, either not really dead or because he's definitely an inside job if he was Osama bin Laden's partner. And he was in the Muslim Brotherhood, which was an MI6, like British intelligence thing since the 30s. Like there's just he was in a jail. The first thing I looked for was, was he ever in a U.S. jail? Because that's where they like get their instructions, whatever. So I thought he was either not really dead um, or he he knew too much like Gitmo. I think Gitmo exists not for people they think are terrorists, but for people who cooperated, they can't like convict them of anything, but they don't want them out there saying stuff. So it could have been that, um, or somebody else killed them and they wanted to take the credit. But mm -hmm. so I, I looked it up and I was like, I, I put in like a Google search that ends on January 1st, 2022. It's like, when was the last time this guy was in the news? Like maybe he was sick. And sure enough, April 11th, 2020, 2021, a big article saying, like, we think this guy's already dead. Who's going to replace him? I saw that, too. So when, we, now we live in the age where everyone just looks it up and goes, wait a minute. This guy's been dead for a year. It yeah. says here he's been missing for a year. Like, what do you what? That's I, another level of the rabbit hole. Like, they're just constantly, I guess it's called gaslighting us. They're just constantly making us crazy. And maybe, like, looking into that stuff is just a big time-wasting distraction, right? Maybe... That's what I... I or, know. yeah, or maybe they're... I, you know, I they got to keep us... Look, I think what they had to do... I think that the real hope for this country was Ron Paul. Even Ron Paul might be an inside job. I doubt it, but maybe he is. But whatever. He was, like, quoting the Constitution. He was quoting economics. He was looking at the Bill of Rights. He was having young people, like, burn dollar bills in their colleges. Like, I don't know if you were following it at the time. They There was this reawakening, a real re, re, reawakening that tapped into what we didn't even realize we were still learning from our parents who learned from their parents mm. about these fundamentals. Like, we can all rally behind the Bill of Rights. And that was like a real movement that was kind of messing up the Republican, you know, well, we like to be number two and we'll like let the, we'll act like we're fighting the good fight, but we'll always get money for the defense industry and we'll give them their money for welfare. And Ron Paul was like, I don't want, I don't want either. I don't want warfare or welfare. I don't want to do it. And they, and that energy was rising. And I think they had to get Trump in there to take that energy away and redirect it into 
I'm pissed at these people to just be obnoxious. He brought identity politics to the right, which hadn't been there ever. We were always about, I'm not like on the right, but as a libertarian would be like fiscally conservative. And what, listen, I'm dumb as a rock and don't know politics at all. Libertarian Good. is what? In the middle? Okay. Libertarian is, uh, to quote Harry Brown, who was a great libertarian, it's, um, individual liberty and personal responsibility on all issues at all times. I and another, okay. another way and to I'm say a libertarian. Be, there's one, only one law. Don't touch me or my stuff. I That's like it. That. That's, That's why I'm like, law. listen, I don't care what team you're on. Right. Matter of fact, there should not be teams in my opinion. Why is there Republican and Democrat? To me, right. that makes zero sense unless it's a very well controlled professional wrestling system that was put in place a long time ago to make you feel like you're free. Oh, there are books written about that. There's a famous book called Tragedy and Hope by Carol Quigley, who was a professor of Bill Clinton. And in that, it says a very famous quote that says, like, we need to have two parties so that when they cry, throw the bums out, we have other bums to put in. And then we can just keep doing that. So then you have Obama. They're just like, oh, finally. The flood is like, oh, finally, we have like a black guy who's going to solve these problems for us. And then he just actually fanned the flames of racial problems. And then, uh, and then the right was already like, the Republicans are awful. We, they're just rhinos. And then all of a sudden Trump comes, he's like, I'm not even a politician. I'm not even a politician. And they're just like, oh, great. <laughs> it's like, I'm not a politician. You think I'm getting on the debate stage? I don't think so. Wow. This is very, um, so currently where are we at? Well, thinking I start, wise, just your thought. Yeah, I, we I don't mean, know where we're at, but thought wise, I'm just. <clears throat> I, I used to think, especially with lockdown, that everybody, basically everyone, was in their pocket except for maybe Belarus. <laughs> like everybody was in. Everybody went along with the lockdown thing except for a couple of places. And as soon as Belarus said no, they like put in regime change over there or whatever. But now, you know, and I still don't know if. Putin's playing his role. But now I'm starting to think that they're, they've are they given up on the one world government and maybe they want to go back to like Cold War stuff so that we have our half and they have their half. Mm. Um, but, you know, and, and that brings me way down. Like, I definitely don't think of like lizards anymore if we're back down to like a, a three-dimensional chessboard. Not a I like it. There's, there's a new thing going around which cracked me up. It's like... Kennedy said this in 1961. Have you heard this? The like fake stuff? Well, no, 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 no. He's saying it's his real speech, but then he says, and in, in 2024, Trump will return as president with Junior to reveal to the world. And I went, <laughs> not buying it. Sure, you're just finding this now. Sure. Right. Right. Now, none of this is, no one didn't voice the dub over. He, no you just found a voice recording of JFK on the internet saying. Yeah, I think, I think they put that stuff out there to see like, like, you know, if you take like iodine or dye, radioactive dye, and they can watch the, like how your digestion works. It's like, it's like when the I Kardashian. It, Monica, it's like when the Kardashian said, if you take a bottle and you put it in your lip, it makes your lips bigger, which my daughter did. It's the same <laughs> thing. They're testing the going, who's it? Brewer's daughter fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like they're doing the same thing. All right. It's a psych who's test. downloading Kennedy in 1961 saying, Junior and Trump are coming back? Because that, that was another big thing, too, that was floating around for a yeah. while. I'm like, Hey, listen, I'd be the first one. If if JFK Jr. popped up, oh, I think yeah. I I think I'd drop to my knees and start sobbing. I really am like, that oh my be, god. Be, like, oh, you know, that's a real guy. So that's why he was killed. That's why you really that it's almost like you can't get white pilled. You can't 
believe in these heroes. You can't believe in the counter conspiracy because anybody who is going to speak truth to power, like I think Anthony Bourdain was murdered. Like anybody, I think I Joan Rivers was murdered. Yeah, I think not because she thinks Michelle is a tranny, but because she knew that Trump was smart, not dumb. She would have torn down the persona they had to paint him with to let him seem rogue and foolish and emotional. She knew she was on like Celebrity Apprentice and she used to say, he's smart. He could, he would be a good president. You know, it's very, it's very, so you, all right. What's your theory on that, that? What, why was she On Joan Rivers? Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and if you look at how she died, like literally in her daughter's lawsuit is like, it is not, it defies belief how much malpractice was required to kill her. And I was like, yes, because they killed her on purpose. And the daughter's like, what idiot? And it's like, it was her own private doctor was in there. So somebody who was plugged in ahead of time. I Wasn't there that, something too with a picture? The guy, they got a lot of trouble know. because the doctor. Oh, took a, maybe. Yeah. I didn't see that. I, 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 it's not germane I, to the thing, which is that she, I believe that like Anthony Bourdain, the reason I bring them up in the same breath is that Anthony Bourdain was stood by that Argento chick in the Harvey Weinstein thing. And I, when he was killed, I was Ooh. like, hey, or when he committed suicide, supposedly, I said, hey, I'm going first pass. I'll take what you're telling me. He killed himself. I will stop believing he killed himself if anything fishy comes out of her story, because Weinstein's story is full of it. That's That was a psyop. And then it came out that she had to pay somebody off, a guy who she had sexually harassed. And I was like, oh, they had something on her. So her Weinstein thing wasn't necessarily true. And Bourdain would have outed her if he found out. And that's why you have to, honest people, you have to silence. Like, so with Joan Rivers, she, she would say stuff. And she could not be silenced, in my opinion. She had integrity. And so when she knew Trump and one of the last things she was on TV, oh, and this is how I knew, because once she was on CNN, also right at the end of her life, she was on CNN and they were talking about her new book and she was wearing a fur coat on it. And the young uh, anchor woman said to her, like, don't you feel ashamed of yourself wearing an animal? And she was like, what, what are your shoes made of? And the girl was like, that's not the point. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And she did it like three times. And Joan Rivers said, look, I gave you a couple of chances. I don't need to be here taking this crap from you. You're a hypocrite. I'm a comedian. I'm leaving. And she took her mic off and she left. And I, I said, I said to my mom, I was like, oh, she's going to pay for that. <laughs> but I don't think she paid for that in that way. I think it's that the reason she had to die was that she, they knew they couldn't control her. They knew what her limits were. Maybe that was a test. They knew what her limits were. And in other shows, when she was like, Trump's going to be good, I feel like, because I think Trump is an actor. So he is an actor. Jeff Zucker, the head of CNN, trained him as an actor. And when They've he all came, been trained. Yeah. Right. They've all so been trained. I think she would have said, he doesn't really think that. I've talked to him, blah, blah, blah. I just feel like people with firsthand knowledge like that, who would counter the narrative, sometimes mm. those people, that is the threshold, I think, where they, people do have to go. Wow, it's, in, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No. I mean, and this is all made up stuff, but I don't think saying it's made up is going to stop the, the censors. No, 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 no. So with this, what I feel, what I call the fake Biden. Because <laughs> he doesn't I blink. <laughs> he doesn't I said, blink. I said it. Months ago, I said it last. I, I want to say I said it last March. I made a video. I'm like, this is not Joe Biden. First of all, his eyes are dark. My father had to your eyes don't change. That's, a That's just point. a fact. No, nobody's eyes turn dark and black after having big blues like this. It, it, it's just stupid. You got to be dumb as a rock to not know that or question that. Anyway, uh, it's, a good point. it's just, yeah. anyway, I'm just, a part of me is like the great awakening. Does that mean everyone's starting to discover we've all been under control for so long, which we have been. They can afford a certain amount of awakeness. Do you like just government, you know, natural humans do not have government. And Agreed. we've been nothing but all natural humanity has been shamed as cannibals, not advanced, um, uncivilized. It really is Avatar, where 
there's a there is a part and i've been questioning this forever forever and ever if you look at the world where we are this is a made-up computer chip at the end of the day everything the way why you work why you do the things you do and our natural spirit our natural instinct our natural thought process our natural telepathic power has all been stripped away dumbed down by all the pretty disney lights and cameras and tv shows and sports teams and and everything and this popcorn and this ice cream and the, have you ever read kaczynski what have you ever read kaczynski the no. unabomber <laughs> no no why um, say all this stuff? I don't agree with his tactics of killing people. Sure. Um, definitely not. I'm against that completely. Uh, yeah. hundred percent. But he wrote his like manifesto, which is also in book form, which in some like fugue state, I don't know how I did it. I was watching a documentary on him and like the next day, this thing showed up on my doorstep, which I never would have ordered on Amazon, but like something like compelled me to do it. But it's really fascinating because he he talks about like what it is to why we're totally unhappy and we can't live in this technological society. It's called technological slavery. And he says yeah. there's four things, if I can remember what they are, that we need to be happy. And it's like you have to do important work. Um, it has to be achievable. You have to do it with autonomy and um, it has to be hard. I think that's it. But uh, so if you can get someone else to buy it for you. And send it to you in a brown wrapped paper. I'll do that for you if you want. Well, to me, to me, the reason why so many people struggle is your basic human needs are to, you have a soul. You got to nurture your soul. Not nurture your belly, not nurture your cravings, not nurture your soul. We all have a spirit. Everybody has a spirit. I don't even think that's debatable. Science can never define spirit because science are nothing but people that guess. They're just guessers. Um, family, your role in society, faith. A mom, a father, you create life together. You create new spirits, new souls, and you nurture them to continue just the way a tree will drop a, a seed or something, and then the seed will thing, and then this will nurture it, and then it'll grow, and new life grows. We, whatever this disease is, like the, the, the whatever disease that controls everyone, we'll call it government, we'll call it news, we'll call it... Uh, uh, culture, whatever funky, fun sales point words they come up with are not the way to naturally live. And I, I don't know if it's the beginning of people recognize that. I don't know. Well, if uh, it's so natural, it won't stop popping up. The only thing I worry about is if they start putting stuff in there that literally alters your genes, our only hope is that there is a God because if they can really fundamentally change the nature of man, that's the only thing that I'm really worried about. Because they're trying hard. And this is what I ask people too, Monica. Everyone praises someone like Bill Gates. Why? Why? Because he's a billion. If that guy had eight dollars, mm -hmm. right? If he was your neighbor and he came over, if Bill Gates was your neighbor and he came over and says, we have to depopulate <laughs> humanity. Um, we have to <laughs> everyone and we have to block out the sun and we have to create new mosquitoes <laughs> that have GMO in it and they go around. You'd say, <laughs> right. The first thing you do is get on the phone and call the local authorities. Go, I got a lunatic <laughs> right. talking about murdering people when you say depopulate it's a nice word for murder 
Like who would win? We in a need fight? to depopulate. You need to murder <laughs> humans. If I were to go outside and say, I'm say we need to murder half the population, and you change that word to depopulate, now all of a sudden you're a genius. Like what would Hank Hill do? <laughs> what is wrong with humanity that you are you ass? If, and you, if you don't believe in being under a spell, then that's mm. another thing you're out of your mind with. A feet, listen, boobies can put you at Monica. I don't mean it right now, but if you were to, if you were to go like this, <laughs> maybe and do I'm the whole interview, if, if you were to do the interview like that, I'd be under a spell and I wouldn't be able to think. And I'd be just, look, I'm under a spell. Mm. I can't think right. Yeah. It's this, this casts the spell. Yes, spells exist. <laughs> Bill Gates, we need to depopulate. People say we need to depopulate. That's a nice word for murder. Prove me wrong. What does depopulate mean? How do we get rid of people? Hmm. <laughs> How stupid How is humanity for not even questioning and that? And they say it's super nice. Like if you read The Atlantic, you know, it'll say it like say there's an article by Rahm Emanuel's brother. I think it was in the Atlantic saying people at 75, we should just kill them all. Something like that. And and he says it like a really like it'd be the humane thing to do. And when what? I'm 75, I'm happy to do it. And it's like, why? Just because you use good grammar doesn't mean you're not a sick bastard. I mean, this is this is what cracks me up. The minute you start really listening to what the programs tell you and you dissect the words you realize they are psychotic evil lunatics and everyone's just like yeah we got i heard my daughter say one time going <laughs> dad there's too many people on the earth i went do you know my <laughs> do you know how much land do you know how much land is out there that nobody lives on? That is the dumbest statement I ever heard in my life. Oh, we need to, there's not enough people. Have you traveled? They can all live in Rhode Island. All yeah, well, have you traveled anywhere? There's plenty of land to put people. Plenty. Holy crap. We're building in deserts. We're building in swamps. We're building in oceans. We're building everywhere. They built an island in Belize so a cruise ship could show up and dump people off. Upstate New York. Trees as far as the eye can see. As far as the eye can see. Upstate New York, which has been colonized for hundreds of years just by hyper-colonizers. It is... Uh, and colonizing is a nice word for raping and killing yeah. and taking over your stuff. Oh, yeah. He's like, like, we need to. This is what we're going to do. We're going to land on the rock, and then we're going to go in there. We're going to take the women the way we want. We're going to enslave the children. We're gonna because the people books. who live there don't have souls. That's right. That was we're going to get, because they're soulless. And then we're going to, we're going to educate them. And then we're gonna make them live our way. <laughs> and what? And then the You're other guy. Like, right. And the other guy goes, "Well, we can't name it that, sir. We'll call it. Um, we'll call it. We need to. Uh, what do you call it? Modernize and create civilized. Civilized. That's a good. One. Oh, they love the word civilized. That's a great one. Civilized and colonized." Progress. Progress. We'll call it progress and colonize. Oh, colonize. Oh, I like these pretty words. People love pretty words. Now we need to Let's send depopulate. them to school. Yeah. Depopulate. We need to murder. Hold on, I got this. We need to depopulate. <laughs> or as Kermit the Frog Bill Gates would say, we need to depopulate. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so entertaining. It's an I mean, and, you know, at the end of the day, what do you do? You just enjoy life? I think, yeah, I like my cocktails. So that's always fun. And I think it's important to remember that, like, what are you going to do anyway? You absorb you all the do? screens. 
Are you absorb the screens? You got to stay aware because you can't let them get too far ahead. I think you have to worry about like making sure gun rights and like water rights. Some places don't let you have a rain barrel. Like that kind of stuff's important. You got to pay attention. But other than that, we got 80 years or 90 or whatever. And basically that's all anyone's ever gotten. I mean, like in a bl- you know, we're dead already basically in like universe time. So get, right. make sure you get your cocktails, make sure you tell your kids what you know, hope they listen. Yep. And I think that's all you can do. That's why I hope there's a God, because if there is no God, then I'm drinking more cocktails. But if there's, I, I, no, you know, if there's a God, then it'll be great. I will tell you this. From my experiences, from the times that I truly begged for the right reasons, not like, hey, man, could you just make sure I get on this plane? Uh, I'm talking like heavy duty intention to make life better. I've had them answered and it's absolutely for me, it's mind boggling. It is, is beyond powerful. And I feel like when it comes to God, it is like a radio station, just like we're living now frequencies. You can either tune in and listen for a while or try to get it or learn how to get it. Or you just go, yeah, no, but but not until you're truly tested. Will you ever believe or not believe? And I got to say, through my test and trials, I'm a thousand percent in. Yeah, God's the soul is, is self-evident. The soul is self-evident. It's just, I mean, n- nature and life alone is enough for me to go. Yeah, because that's another thing. Who's to say what a miracle is? Who's to say the way things are supposed to be? Who's to say, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. That's man-made nonsense. At the end of the day, God's plan, God's grace, love, awesomeness. And yes, it's, it's, it's perfect. But at the end of the day, we think we're just above all. We just think we're above all. You know, we're, we're not, we're clearly not. If anything, we're a serious issue with the whole plan because we're the only ones just destroying the shit out of ourselves and everything else. It really is mind boggling. Um, mind boggling. But yes, I'm all in. I'm the G man. I got his back. And it's I'm what my, he's my mother up. says. She says, uh, God is up in his heaven. I don't know why you worry so much about everything. It's unfolding according to plan. It really, <laughs> like, okay. And that's what is. you got to do. Yeah. Monica, this is a lot of fun, man. We got to hook up again. Thank you so much. Very nice of you to have me on. I really appreciate it. And it's been super, super fun. Great way to start the day. Where can people find you? Oh, thank you. Uh, my podcast is Deep Dives with Monica Perez. I have my website's monicasdeepdives.com. And I tweet a lot. So if you want to talk to me, you absolutely can at Monica Perez Show. Thank you, love. I wish you all the best. Um, Love, grace, all that jazz. Be safe. Great conversation again today. Me and Monica are just talking. None of us, what we're saying is right or wrong. We're just hooking for a cup of coffee, glass of wine, and just talking, which from what I understand is still okay to do. But we'll find out. All right. Thanks for hanging out, Monica. Take care. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to Bruniverse once again. if you haven't seen my new comedy special, well, it's not really new, but I put the comedy special out there. Somebody had to say it. I can't thank you enough. Don't forget, I do have a Patreon page where we have uh, extended podcast on there that you can only hear on there. You, the Patreon member, get to be the podcast interviewer with me. We select up to four members a month. And we do a podcast together. Um, I live stream a show once a month, you know. And for that, you you know, it's fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks, you get all the podcasts, you get all that jazz, you the, and you get the live shows and the podcast. You can't hear anything else. But overall, I just want to say, no matter what my conversations are, you got to nurture your soul. You got to. Um, I, I like talking about stuff, but I don't, I don't like 
I don't like exhausting myself with it. Um, I don't like trying to debate or argue. I think we're at a time where debating and arguing should really be put aside and we should just listen and have a conversation. And if you can't back the conversation after a while, at least be able to put aside your ego and just open your mind a bit and go, hmm, I never really saw it like that. Because if you don't believe that there are people and, and news outlets and politicians or whoever that supposedly represent you, and you don't believe that they may have bad intentions, then you really are, you're really setting yourself up for a lot of vulnerability. Even doctors, you know, we're going through some stuff right now and you going through some stuff, you better get multiple opinions because never trust someone just because they have the badge or they have the lab coat or they have the, uh, the network emblem behind them. That doesn't mean anything. Vanity and ego can really cause havoc especially when they're preying on your innocence. So today's just a thought, blah, blah, blah. Enjoy your day. I wish you the best. And um, thanks for hanging out in the universe. Take care. This is Jim Brewer, and I got my own Patreon page, and hopefully you'll check it out. Live comedy concert streamed once a month. Weekly, you host your own podcast and you interview me. Early access to the Bruniverse podcast every single week and I have bonus footage and bonus segments. I promise you I'm not going to let you down. Go check out my official Jim Brewer Patreon page and I'll see you there.